Yeah, good day. How are you all doing? So today we're going to do some basic and stop pack. How to import CSV files and then create a solid report the volume. So step number one, double click on the software and open the software. So after opening the software, you you have to connect your folder. You know, normal routine. Look for your folder. Connect it. This is my folder. Connect your folder. All right, click on it. Set as your work directory. After that, the next thing you need to do after setting your folder as your work directory is to import now the CSV file, the subpack file, the CSV uh, Excel file. This is my CSV file color. Let me, let me open it and see. So this is my CSV file, my Y, X, and Z. So those three values, Y is column 1, X is column 2, Z is column 3. So next thing I need to do is to go to File, Import, select the first option. So you go to File, Import, select data from one file. Yes. When you open it, you have import from text file. The first option is text file name here. You click on these three dots and you select the color CSV. Open output to string file. So you want to give it a name, you not I forget. Click here on the location. So this is the name I, I, I'm giving it YouTube, for example. The string number one is for white. If you take it, it's for red. It's okay. Number of headlines three. Number of description. What does this mean? Is if you look at the Excel file, we have three columns. So three columns, and so that's the meaning of it. They're delimited. They are separated by command. Okay. Then you apply. When you apply the Y, X, and Z coordinates. From Excel file, y, y is 1, column 1, X is 2, Z is 3. So you enter again 1, 2, 3. Here is the same again 1, 2, 3. So it depends on the location. Even if the Y is uh, in the fourth column, you enter the fourth. So that's how we do it. After filling this, apply. So when you apply, you see here you check. You see here YouTube, yeah. So just left click and hold, drag and drop. So this is a string file of imported. So now I want them to display as points. So all I need to do go to display, hide what hide string as lines. Yeah, apply. Then go again to display and display. What do you want to display? We don't want to hide anything. We want to display point numbers. You apply. So you see these are the point numbers. Now I want to create a boundary line. All I need to do is to come to layers down here or you can go to create new layer. Yeah, under the new layer, let me say BDRY1 boundary one apply so you see BDRY so click on this here create new points using the mouse so you go to create digitize new points so start to create new points you digitize like you, you create a boundary Then for you to close, just right click this stored option, click on it and escape. We've created this now, it's in a red, so save it. BDRY1 boundary one. We've saved it. So you can clear reset graphics. Come with it again, boundary one. So you see this is a string file. Now if you look at it in the XZ. In this section, you see where it is. So in the Y, this is 
it's waiting elevation zero if you check but I want to make a copy of this what are we going to do? put it in the yeah, you put it in the z x yes after that you go to edit what do you want to edit it's called a string yes you want to make a copy yes select and drag the string to the copy either select and drag come with it down or up let's click on it and hold let's click and hold, drag it up yeah the string number is one because i want it to be white yes apply so now i have to you see i have to all i need to do is to create solid go to solids triangulate inside segments if you take it that's the color for it click on this down here click on this one up because inside the escape you begin to solid triangulate between segments take again it it for it click on this down click on the one up so form the solid all you need to do is to save it yes we saved it boundary one so you see boundary one dtm boundary one string come with the boundary one dtm this is a solid we've created so the next line of action is to validate this solid to know if there was no error so you go to solid validation so you see validate object or the isolation yeah just give it a name you want to validate the solid and you apply yeah so object it this is very color valid yes it's valid open or close it close connected no error all you need to do now is save it again because you validated it then you go you calculate the volume now how can you calculate the volume of this go to surfaces volumes report volume of solids here yeah. enter the name of the solid I want to maintain it again. YouTube underscore volume report file format in CSV Excel or in PDF. I want to report it in PDF. It should be under total yes. Then I apply. So you see this is the total volume. Yeah. Because this we choose PDF. You can choose any any one of your choice excel if you want surfaces volumes report volumes yes you can add report volume by csv yes you apply i wait for it to see this is the volume so that's how you go about it to report volume and you tell you solid yes x y x y z so that was the volume so now that's how you go about it to create volume import csv file so i'm going to stop here thank you very much